Joe Montana. Johnny Unitas. Joe Montana. Johnny Unitas. Joe Montana. Johnny Unitas. Joe Montana. Okay, that's it. Kiss those pretty boy good looks goodbye. Oh, come on, wait. Let's go. Come on, No, no, no. Come on, put, put the weapons down. Put them down. Come on. You really want to risk an open wound in a filthy place like this? <laughs> now. See what happens to two people when the only thing they know about is sports? All right, time out, George. Yeah, flag on the play. When was the last time one of you two guys read a book? Penthouse a book? <laughs> oh, Frank, reading shouldn't require a lubricant. <laughs> if I ever get this stupid about sports, you people have permission to put a bullet through my skull. What, just one? <laughs> yeah, Frank, just one. Look, the only thing I'm trying to say, there's better things to do with your time than argue about sports. Read something once in a while. Read about the eternal questions. What is death? Is there an afterlife? Why are there no B batteries? <laughs> well, how about it, George? Uh, is there an afterlife? I mean, uh, do we go somewhere? Yeah. That's the big question, isn't it, Frank? No one knows. Some people say you travel down a long, dark tunnel and emerge in a white light. I say you travel down a long, dirty hallway and emerge in eastern Wyoming. Oh, that's yeah. awful. I've been there. It's nothing there. Hey, death is no big deal. It's just another lifestyle. Best thing about dying, you become eligible to appear on stamps and money. I'm looking forward to that. Besides, I also understand you might get a little something extra off on your Discover card. Oh, yeah, we could all use that. Yeah. Well put. Hey, can I have some change for the jukebox? Sure. <laughs> you train. Six hundred dollars on the five horse to win an eighth race at the Meadowlands. Yeah, yeah, you're down. Well, I'd like to read a book, but uh, somehow it doesn't fit into my busy schedule. Besides, uh, where are you going to find a book in New York? Hey, Frank, there's a bookstore right around the corner. The place with the square paper things in the window. Oh, yeah. What do you say, Frank? I mean, if you're not still mad, why don't you and me go down and get a book? Well, you, you did try to take my head off with that bat. <laughs> well, you did try to sever my carotid artery with a piece of jagged glass. Yeah. Hey, I guess we're both being a little bit silly, huh? Hey, not... What do you say we go down and get some of those, uh... Books. Books, yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, yeah. Take care of the bar for me. Sure thing, boss. Hey, don't buy any book by a stand-up comedian who's got a sitcom. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Hey, George, hey, George, hey, look at us, huh? We're reading books, huh? Yeah. Like scientists. You smell a Nobel Prize. Ah, go on. Give me a beer, will you, Jack? Done. Hey, so how was it? Ah, it was great. Uh -huh. The way Steinbeck talks about the human struggle, he's got to make him the greatest author ever. Yeah, but I mean, Fitzgerald's insights about love and the great Gatsby prove that he's the best author. John Steinbeck. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Steinbeck! Fitzgerald! Steinbeck! All right, let's just take this outside. Uh, it's fine with me. Let's go. Come on. 